retrieve Nightingale. Or that what we'll call that um, antique antique owner store. Maybe we can. Uh, oh, there's a horse. Did I give him anything to eat? A lemon? Alright, let's move on. The Kalima Library, maybe I can get something, maybe I can finally get my membership card. Hmm. Let's talk to her again. Hmm. Okay, I was worth a try. Okay. If I can only get 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 distracted. Oh, she's mean. Is there anything I can use to distract her? Look at her some more. Hmm. Maybe I can distract her. Yes, I got it. Yes, I did it. I knew I could do it. Let's save our progress. Library card. Excellent. Yes. Let's give a tour. Aha. Why? Well, what exactly can I do? Ha. Huh. <clears throat> what did she got for me? Very. Let's grab it. Okay, 
What does it say? <clears throat> I shall read it now. Legends. Daventry's first king, known to many as Legendamor, is as much an enigma of history as he is woven into the fabric of legend itself. Though he is passing occurred nearly 1,000 years ago, it remains somewhat unclear as to the man manner of his death and what became of the power he wielded. Historians do know that Legendamor was a powerful magician or a wizard, as he might be called nowadays. He is largely credited with bringing, along with his kind, magic and civility to Daventry and the surrounding world. According to legend, during that what was arguably the bloodiest war Daventry has ever seen, Legend Amor sought to commit his awesome power to the cosmos. It is believed that he blamed himself for the extent of the Grand War. In particular, the magic that he that had been used to exasper exacerbate the death toll. He therefore chose to render himself mortal, an action that would pro prove to be his last. However, legend would also suggest that his power may be attainable. If only one were to perceive and understand how and when. This is ex uh, evidenced by a parchment located just a few centuries ago and dated 30 years after the first king's death. If seeketh you the power of legend amor, thou shalt be well appraised. It will not be an easy task, from the path thou may be swayed. For in great Daventry lies the means for which it may be found, belonging to one who rules the land by one who wears the crown. From this circle nature springs, from royal thoughts thus sown. Though woe betide the unjust thief who claims it for his own. In this great land, tis known the rest, the corpse of legend and Amor, who died defending his home turf in the longest, fiercest war. His great mistake, which sealed his fate, he cast his magic aside up high into the heavens, which forever stretches wide. But the search may be rewarding for the seeker of this power, as its apex soon approaches, when cometh the darkest hour. Hark! Spy sun and moon, and planets as all of them align. The one prepared for the ascension will surely see the sign. Power thus can be, can then be granted to just one from this great tool. If one be thee, then thou shalt be the everlasting jewel. The first king's brother, Morgellion, was also presumed killed in the Grand War. Legendamore's loyal first knight and successor, Randathor ruled over the realm. For nearly 50 years he sired a number of children who either remained to guarantee the continuation of the royal bloodline or set forth to build kingdoms of their own. Of their own. All right. Okay, there you go. Let's save our progress. Legends. Maybe we can talk to her some more. Maybe she can give me another book to read. All right. Let's examine it. Okay, let's examine it. Power, politics, and pulpits. In many lands, the church and state have long shared a mutual distrust of one another. While the state is responsible for the wealth and security of the realm, the church's concern is for the moral standing of the population. It is said that when one intrudes upon the domain of the other, discord is inevitable. In no other place has this been more unpleasant than Kalima. The feud between the two institutions there dates back many decades. In the days of the late Count Crestrum, the Lord of Kalima spoke openly of the need for change. Chiefly regarding the education of the common people, the Church of the Faith maintained that the simple people were of the land. They knew their rightful place, and thus their path was secure. Years later, the young and idealistic Count Caldor Christom's heir declared that the Church of the Faith had purposely been holding the people back 
retaining their ignorance of literature and the wider world for their own selfish benefit. Naturally, the church resented their insinuation and in turn declared Calder a heathen. At that time, the mood of the population had tensed. Stability in the realm had weakened as dissension between the church and state rose. It may have continued to do so had the situation not been annulled by tragedy. The count there, there, there befell a terrible injury while in the forest one night, which later proved fatal. While it expressed its condolences to the family of the fallen lord, the Church of the Faith asserted that only through its own vision for Kalima, not the rulers, could the people find their true path. It is a curious point to note that no new leader has been chosen to replace Kaldor. Although it has been many years since his passing, when questioned about this, the townsfolk are likely to either ignore the inquiry altogether or cast a furtive glance in the direction of the now inaccessible castle. Let's examine another book. Let's save it. Power, politics, and power. Power, politics, pulpits. All right, let's save that. And let's talk to uh, her again. Okay, I guess nothing else is to read. All right, let's move on. All right, we've done enough. We've done enough for this part of the mission. Let's move on.